Hello there, and welcome to another episode on Peter Herman Adventures. My steelhead season has not been going all that well. I've been striking out hard. It started out great. I got uh, a fish in late December, and it was a hatchery, and I'm like, yes, gonna be the best season ever. And ever since then, I blanked, like striking out hard. Well, that's uh, steelhead fishing for you. I think after three years of fishing steelhead, I finally starting to get into this headspace where it doesn't really matter if I catch one. I'm, I'm really happy just to be out here on the river, casting, watching the world go by. We really are very lucky to have this fishery here in Chilliwack. But that's about it for this episode. Don't really have a lot else to say. I, I've been mostly I fish shrimp. Today I thought I'd try something a little bit different, so I'm giving this uh, fly a try. So this is an intruder style of fly with a stinger hook. So the theory is that the fish will sort of you know chase this down, and when they grab it, they tend to kind of bite short. They they want to kind of have a, a little little feel, a little taste before they commit to gulping the whole thing and so this stinger hook hidden back here it, it gets you uh, a bigger chance of, of hooking up and um, other than that it's really kind of like a mini jig the head is a little bit weighted and there's a bunch of hackle back here that's uh, supposed to make it kind of fluff out a little bit and just like everything else i've been trying this season it is not producing but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of an interesting experiment for me. I think uh, putting flies under a float is, is one of those overlooked aspects of float fishing. And it's always worth a try. You can put any size of fly under a float. And in fact, I would say it's easier to get a fly into the strike zone with a float setup than it is with a fly fishing setup. With a fly fishing setup, you have to kind of adapt your sinking tip and, and your leader to every style of water, whereas with a float, you can easily set that depth and get that fly into a strike zone. So yeah, maybe I'll stick the camera underwater and show you how this little guy swims. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.